Well, take a good look. Chances are this is the last time you'll see this truck on the channel. My name's Austin. This is the Mopar Garage and we build cool stuff in here. I know, I know, I said I was keeping this one. I've got a problem, okay? I love money and I love buying and selling trucks and if I can make money, I can't stop myself. Before we get into why this diesel is going bye-bye, uh, I do wanna let you guys know, I know most of you tune in for the Shelby Daytona that we're restoring. I have been filming, I have been working on it. I got a video that's almost ready to go up. Um, just been a process of getting enough a bunch of little jobs done on it to where we can make one video. So there is a video coming. I know most of you tune in for that thing on this channel. For those of you who don't follow the channel, click up here for that Shelby, or up here, I don't know. I'll put a playlist up to the to the, uh, the car that we're restoring. Now, as far as the diesel, this thing, kind of a holy grail truck, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, you know, you guys who have been following the channel, you know already, but it's a 2000 Cummins, 167,000 miles. Uh, absolutely mint condition almost showroom I mean shoot I've got the I've even got the original bill of sale the owner's manual this thing is just nearly perfect and it was owned by an old guy who used to tow his horse trailers um, and just took immaculate care of it so I've really only used the truck once um, I hauled a bunch of gravel you can see kind of in the bed here uh, there's a bunch of gravel in the bed I hauled about a ton and a half, ton, about a ton, a little over a ton, I guess, of gravel to fix my driveway. That's really all I've done with this truck. I don't know, man. I just can't get into it. I, it's, it's a beautiful truck. It's, it's awesome on paper. It's just I can't get into working on it. I can't get into driving it. I don't know. Uh, it's an automatic, and I'm. You guys know that have been loyal to the channel for a while. I'm really not a big automatic guy. Um, if I'm gonna own second gens or if I'm gonna keep stuff long term, it's kinda gotta be a standard. It's two wheel drive. I mean, nobody really likes two wheel drive. Um, so maybe that's part of it too. I just can't get into it, man. It's it's big long truck, not a whole lot of fun to drive. I haven't been buying and selling projects lately at the rate that I usually do. Um, I don't know, I just, I just can't get into it. I mean, this thing is perfect though. Everything works. The the um, power windows work, power locks, heated seats, AC, no blow by, it's got low mileage, it's in immaculate condition, it's a beautiful truck. Um, just, I don't know, man, I paid, I think 6,700 bucks for it. I put seven or 800 into it. Man, nah, probably not even that much. Probably put like 600 into it. Uh, I put an air dog Raptor on it, I put a thermostat in it, changed the rear end oil. Um, I put, an inner tie rod end on the passenger side um so there's not really a lot to work on because this thing is so perfect so it's not really conducive to the channel that way and i haven't been enjoying driving it all that much i don't know i, I so i got what say seven low sevens into it um i've got it listed for sale at 12 five at the very least i'm going to be taking five figures for it i mean i'd never go below 10 for it um, I stole the thing. I love money and I can't, <laughs> I guess I can't really turn down the, the money. Uh, the truck isn't making me happy enough to justify the amount of money that I can make off of it. So, so I think for that reason, this one here is going to be going bye bye. Um, probably the end of the era. I think we only got four or five videos out of it, but I mean, it was a fun experience. It was really cool to see one this perfect. I may never see one this perfect again. So is what it is man i wish this road wasn't so busy um anyway there'll be shelby videos coming up this will probably be the last one that features the old diesel i got a video i gotta fix a couple little electric bugaboos on the on the 99 second gen um and that's pretty much gonna do it for this video you guys like and subscribe if you like dodge stuff uh enjoy all the support that the channel's gotten we've got i think 530 subscribers love to hit 1000 before like february or march that's when the channel first kind of blew up a lot of a lot of views on a few video a couple of videos went kind of viral for me around that time so really would like to hit 
thousand subscribers before then because once we get past then all that viral video watch time is going to start coming off the books because it only stays around for a year so to get us monetized i really do want to do um you know get get the subscribers in time to do that so um yeah that's pretty much it we will see you guys on the next one